seen you explode and it's been exciting to watch. It's been fun to to be on this end as well <laughs> to watch it uh to watch it explode. So, no, it's fun because um social media really keeps you on your toes. You have to continuously um try to figure out how to keep uh, everybody's attention and come up with uh, you know, interesting uh concepts and um you know, content ideas, as well as algorithms and things you can do. Like there's little things you can do here or there all the time. And it's always changing to, um, to get more uh, exposure, you know, and, uh, and grab more impressions. So it's, it's, it's fun whenever you hit something that gets a lot of extra, um, eyeballs, you know, for free organically. Sure. Um, it's really cool to run into those situations and you run into those situations by literally being in the field and keeping your eyes open and it's kind of seeing little openings here and there. Like for example, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had this theory that on my stories, cause I was getting around 2000 views on my Instagram stories forever and it never really increased. Although my following is increasing. So I'm like, what's going on here? Well, I thought, well, wait a minute, maybe it's an algorithmic um, mechanism for the stories. Maybe Instagram actually pushes the stories in a certain way, depending on, you know, people that like the content in your stories. And I thought um, maybe I'll do one story where it's a long form copy on a story where people have to put their thumb on the story to stop it, to read it. So they're spending time on your story. Hmm. And guess what? I did that the first day. I only did one, one, one story post instead of like eight. I did one and I had 10,000 views. Wow. Um, and then ever since then, I've just do one story a day with long form copy. So that's a, a nice little nugget right off the bat here for the podcast. But I literally increased my story views, you know, 5x um, just by that one little tweak in what I was doing. So it's really cool to to see things like that, to spot them and to take advantage of them. And I think that's kind of what it's all about for me is, is I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm like a. I love math. And, um, and so this is math to me. And, um, yes. I was, uh, math was always my favorite subject. Although I wasn't ever like to the level where I could do all the algorithmic, like the, the algebra, like high level and stuff. But, um, the basic stuff that kind of like common sense stuff that makes the world go round, I really, I'm really into. And so social media is a lot of math, right? And, and all the stuff we do is a lot of math. You know, like building your database and, um, you know, getting to a million dollars a year and stuff like that. It's it's literally math and execution. And um, so it, it is a lot of fun. And I'm always looking for what that next <laughs> like I'm like dying to find that next piece of the puzzle every day. Yeah. On that subject, I mean, you've done just about everything in the real estate game. You've been in real estate for 20 years. Um, you've been a top agent. You're a top investor. And now it seems like your focus is a bit more on influencing others and helping coach other people. So what is yeah. your main focus for 2023 um, in terms of your big goals? Is it in specifically real estate investing or is it a little bit more on building more social media presence and helping coach others? Really a little bit of both. So um, I, this is the very first pocket. I literally just put my new studio together that That's I'm in nice. right now. Um, I'm really excited about it and um, I've got it all set up. It's really cool. And uh, so I really want to create. What's up? <laughs> I said you have good lighting. <laughs> I, I really want to create better content, you know, um, because there's 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 so many levels to this, you know, and I don't care how good you are, even the top guys, um, you know, that, that, you know, like Mr. Beast and, um, you know, all, all of the top guys there. You can tell like they're always trying to figure out the next level to what they're doing and to make their content better. So there's always another level, but yeah, content creation. So I went all in on reels. You guys probably have realized like about three or four months ago, something like that. And I've been posting six times a day and it's been incredible. I've got celebrities following me now and DMing me and I'm picking up a hundred plus followers a day and just all kinds of stuff's happening now. Um, yeah. And so that's cool. Cause I took a step back and I was like, okay, my Instagram's not growing. Let me let me not post for like two weeks and really study Instagram algorithms. I talked to Meta several times. I I just did research and development and studied for like two three weeks, and I kind of put a plan in place 
and said, let me, let me try this, you know, and it was creating more reels. It was creating higher quality reels and it was posting way more and that knocked it out of the park. And so mm-hmm. now I have all this momentum on Instagram and it's incredible. So now I'm take, doing the same thing with YouTube. I'm taking a step back. I'm studying, I'm talking to Google, I'm researching, developing, and really going to horn in on how that platform behaves so that I can, because there's no reason why I shouldn't be at a million subscribers in the next year or two. And that's going to happen because I'm going to figure out the mathematical um, algorithmic um, process to what works and what doesn't work and how to actually blow up. So that is one of my biggest focuses this year. I'm going all in on social media, YouTube, creating content. That's why I built up the studio and that's going to be a big part of what I do. Like my day to day literally is I'm a YouTuber. That's my day to day when I wake up is answer Instagram DMs, check on all my real estate deals and then create video for YouTube. I'm going to post every day. So, um, so my day to day is, is I, I would say I'm going to be, I'm going to be a YouTuber, which is crazy to say. And then, but, but, but equally, equally a focus is real estate investing. Um, because my goal is to go out and buy a hundred million dollars worth of multifamily this year through syndicating deals. And I mean, I've been looking for deals for like a month now. Uh, we've been underwriting deals left and right looking for, you know, and everybody's, I mean, most of the deals are overpriced right this second, but that's going to change. And so, um, you know, we're being patient and I know things are going to happen. And, but, you know, finding the deals, the hard part, raising the money is the easy part. Um, I have people ready to throw money right now, millions and millions of dollars, right? The second, it's just a matter of finding the right deal where I know everybody's going to be proud to own this property. And that's what I want. And I want to build a reputation that people know that when they invest in whatever I'm investing in, that it's going to be a solid investment. It's going to be something they're proud to, to own with me and that we're going to do very well on, you know, short and long term. So yeah, the goal is to, you know, work to a place where I feel very comfortable that I'm going to hit a million subscribers on YouTube. And that's just, that's kind of like, a, um, it's kind of like when you make a million dollars, it's basically a representation of how many people you helped in the world. The million dollars really wasn't the goal. It was the people that you helped along the way. Mm-hmm. Same thing here to get a million subscribers means I helped a lot of people. And so that's what the million subscribers is about. I could care less about the actual su- number of subscribers. I care about the actual people that are subscribing. And, um, and so the goal is to touch that many people in a positive way over the next year or two, but get, get into that momentum, but also close on that hundred million this year with their multifamily. I want to, I want Look. I 35 with the top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me. 